Everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald version. All right, so without any more internet problems, hand injuries, or moving trips, let's get the show on the road. Not to mention conventions. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Really, I thought everybody just replaced the middle letter of your name with something else. Well, that's what the internet does. This is what we call a Pokemon, or Mexican stereotype, whichever you prefer. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, I get it. Just because my name is kind of spelled like Emily, you can't tell if I'm a boy or a girl. I am used to it by this phase in my life, honestly. Never once have they ever called it right in a restaurant. Anyway, my name is, of course, Emil. So it's Emil, yes. Ah, okay. Your email is moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Oh my god! Cardboard boxes have taken over the world! I always knew they were evil! They said I was crazy! They said it didn't! Okay, okay, I won't play that on it longer than I need to. Let's leave. Emil, we're here, honey! You must be tiring writing with the things in the moving trick. That's child abuse! You may be writing with the cargo, or what, am I like a mail-order son? Well, this is Literutan. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems like an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Emil. Let's go inside. Whoopee! Lucky me, I'm ten years old and finally no longer having to sleep in the same room as my mommy. See, Emil, isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving and cleaning up after. It is so convenient. Emil, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad! This is in all caps. Brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. I'm just gonna say dad like that in all caps though, because it's really weird that they did that, because it's not even his name. I mean, I know in Pokemon they usually do that, but anyway. Um, you might know that Pokemon Emerald is the third special edition to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Usually they release two versions of a game, and then a third special edition. If you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, minor difference is these moving Pokemon known as Vigoroth would be Machokes, but that's really about it. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. The clock has stopped. Better set and start it. Okay. Let me go ahead and see what time it is. It is currently 7.35. While I'm setting this, I just want to say I love this game. Obviously, I wouldn't be LPing it if I didn't, though. But I just want to say that I really like this game a lot. And a lot of people don't. A lot of people think it's the weakest Pokemon game or that it just was a big disappointment for Gold and Silver. And as we get further into it, as we get into more and more features in this game, I really do want to talk about why I think this game is kind of underrated. I actually, honestly, now I think each Pokemon game is better than the last. But anyway. Email, how do you like your room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. You should make sure that everything is all right or held there in your desk. Okay. Mom might like this program, but the TV's not even on. What are you just saying? She doesn't like TV, or is she just really stupid? Anyway. Um, I like this. It's a Nintendo GameCube, a Game Boy Advance Connection Service controller. Even though it's clearly a GameCube controller in the sprite. Don't know why they thought that, but... Here we have a town map. This is the Hoenn region. Welcome to the Hoenn region. I'm being very redundant. This is the, where this game is taking place. Now, a lot of people didn't like how you couldn't go to other regions in this game, like in Gold and Silver, but... Hoenn is huge! It is a huge region, and we'll see that especially when we go go out and explore more of it. But this is much bigger than Johto and Kanto put together. It's huge. What's really important, though, that we want to check in our room, though, is we want to go into our item storage, withdraw, 
an item, we can get a potion that's in our item storage naturally at the start of a game. Kind of a tradition in the Pokemon series. Oh, Emil, Emil, quickly, come quickly! Or er, quick, come quickly. Look, it's Pedalberg Gym! Maybe Dad'll be on! And the re weird interviewer was, We brought you this report from in front of Pedalberg Gym! Because all interviewers sound like that. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Do oh, we missed! Oh, yes, Dad. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Burge is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, will do. Okay. So, right next door, this looks like it's Professor Birch's house, even though the text on the sign is the same as mine. Oh, hello, and you are? Emil, you got my name out of just a bunch of dots. Okay, you're our next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Well, our daughter was kind of making a new friend. Just a friend, boring. Daughter is upstairs, I think. Okay. Uh, what about you, little boy? What are you doing? You would have glasses if this was Ruby and Sapphire. Hi, neighbor. Do you already have your own Pokemon? Maybe? Yes? No. All the cool kids have Pokemon, but I don't. Hey, free Pokemon! I, I was just looking. I was just looking. Huh? Who are you? You got my name of a bunch of dots. Must run in the family. Must be their special talent. I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Emil, from my dad, Professor Burge. I was hoping that you would be nice, Emil, and we could be friends. This is silly, isn't it? I just met you, Emil. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Okay, now in that block of text, you notice the word Dad is capitalized? I never got why that is. What, is she like the daughter of God or something? I mean, I know Professor Burge was highly revered, though, but really? <laughs> all right, so... Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Certainly. Help me! Oh my god, it's a rabid raccoon! Hello, you over there. Please, help. In my back, there's a Pokeball. Um, I don't really want to help you. Well, where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Alright. Whiny baby. Okay, so here in this bag, we have three Pokemon that we can pick to fight off that, po that Pokemon that's attacking them with. We can choose Trico, a Wood Gecko Pokemon, Torchic, a Chick Pokemon, or Mudkip, a Mudfish Pokemon. And I like Mudkips before they were cool, don't judge. But uh, what I want to do is I would like to just go over the Pokemon that I am going to be personally picking. I'll go over the other two choices later in the same video. But just so we're not on the screen for too long, I want to go ahead and explain this one. Torchic is a Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon are typically fast and are generally damage dealers. Uh, height and weight are pretty irrelevant, don't really pay that much mind. It becomes relevant later on though, but it's not really pressing that you know those numbers. It's kind of just there to let you know how the Pokemon is physically. Evolution is up next. Something that is widely known about the Pokemon series is the Pokemon eventually will turn into other Pokemon when they reach a certain level of power. We're going to be going over this a bit later because I don't want to spoil what the starter Pokemon evolve into. I'll be talking about what you're getting with each starter Pokemon, but I don't want to spoil what the starters evolve into quite yet. The third section here is Ability. Ability is a new feature in this game, which is a passive skill that aids your Pokemon in battle. Blaze, as you can see, is Torchic's ability, which makes its fire attacks do more damage when its HP is below one-third. Next up is Stats. These are very important because it determines how your Pokemon is going to perform in battle. They're as follows. HP is how much damage your Pokemon can take before it falls in battle. Attack is how much damage your physical attacks will do. Defense is your resistance to your opponent's physical attacks. Special attack is what your non-physical attacks do. In Torchic's case, that'd be things like breathing fire. Then special defense is, of course, your resistance to your opponent's special attacks. And then lastly is speed, which determines who goes first in a battle, because this is a turn-based battle system like most classic RPGs. Torchic stats, as you can see, it's kind of a jack-of-all-trades. It doesn't really have anything that's particularly low, and its attack and special attack are both pretty good, so pretty much any move that you teach this Pokémon is going to do a lot of damage. So that does it for stats. As for the other info, catch rate is irrelevant right now because Torchic is not a Pokémon that is caught. We are obtaining it here. Gender, self-explanatory, just tells you how often it's a boy and how often it's a girl. And then lastly is version, which explains what version you need to be playing to get Pokemon. Some Pokemon are only in specific versions of the game, however Torchic is in all three, so nothing to worry about there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and choose our Pokemon. Here we go! First battle of the game! First battle of the game against a level 2 Zigzagoon. Go Torchic! Alright, so here in battle, we can attack, we can go to our bag, which we have that potion that we can use, but obviously it'd be kind of stupid to use that now. 
If we had other Pokemon, we could switch to them, and then also we could technically run. What happens if we run? I'm always always curious. Don't leave me like the. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I never knew that he said that. It's kind of funny. It's like my third time recording this video, and I never knew that he actually said that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you can't run from this and what? What? It had an Orenberry? Okay, that's something. Uh, Pokemon can have items equipped to them. And that one naturally had one. I don't know what the chance of a Zigzagoon having an Orenberry is, though, but I never have seen that happen in this tutorial battle before. Okay, that's kind of funny. Woo, I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped by a freaking raccoon. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Emil. This is not the place to come chat, so let's go to a Pokemon lab later, okay? Sometime later. So, Emil, I've heard so much about you from your father. I heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. What you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plump. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. So thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And we received the Torchic. All right. So we got our first Pokemon. I don't want to give a name to that Torchic. You know what? I will do just that. I'm going to give it a nickname that is a reference to a previous LP that I have done. Hopefully, those of you who have watched it get the reference. Moegami. If you work a Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid, May, is also studying Pokemon. Let's see. Do you think it might be a good idea to go meet May? No! Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No! Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No! Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No! Okay, fine. It was fun while it lasted. I'll meet your stupid kid, even though I already met her, little known to you, but I can't talk because I'm the main character. So I can't tell you that. Great. May should be happy to get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, so. We have our own Pokemon, so now I'd say that we're good to leave town on our own because we have Pokemon to defend ourselves with against the wild Pokemon that we'll find on the tall grass. So, going out to Route 101, what do you got? What's this guy got? Give me stuff. Wild Pokemon will jump into you, tall grass. I want to catch Pokemon, you need to go in tall grass and search. Okay. Fortunately, though, we cannot really catch Pokemon yet, though, which is a mechanic that's a big part of the series, though, of course. I hope you know that. We're at a tire Pokemon. We tire taking to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Oldale Town right close by. Okay. So I wonder how close this Old Ale Town actually is. Oh, we're already here. Okay, that's convenient. Um, if our Torchic was damaged at all, which let me actually see if it is. No, it is not. Okay, so we don't need to go to the Pokemon Center to heal our Pokemon. We can just skip over that, luckily. And hello, sir. What are you? I work at the Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? Oh, man, I'm driving you to work. Oh. All right, we're already at your job. All right, this Pokemon Mart. Look for the blue room. It's a variety of goods. Pokeballs catch up over here. I'd like you to have this promotional item. And we get yet another potion. Okay. Pokemon Marts, as he says, are places where we can buy stuff. We don't really need anything quite yet, though, so we'll get into the Pokemon Marts a bit later when we actually need to start buying items. Um, something that I'd like to show down here. That's pretty good. Let's try heading out here. Ah, wait, don't come in here. I just see over the footprints of our Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. So I guess we're just going to go out this north exit of town like I was going to in the first place when I almost skipped over that. So let's go over here. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a push. What are you talking about? You can hop down this ledge without running into any Pokemon and just go get a potion. Not that difficult. Ugh, people. Why are NPCs so stupid sometimes? And ooh, random encounter. Um... That is something that I'm going to be cutting out for the most part. Either that or just using items that reduce random encounters, though. Because random encounters, they take up a lot of time, and they generally are not very good for watching in videos, okay? Um, normally, there'd be data on the sides of the screen showing what Pokemon you could find via random encounters. And also, I'd be explaining the wild Pokemon in the area, though. But of course, because we can't really catch anything yet... It'd be kind of irrelevant right now, though, so I'm not going to be explaining the individual Pokemon until we actually get the ability to capture them. Right there, uh, in this other random encounter, I got a critical hit. That What that means is your attack does double damage, and it also ignores any nerfs that have been put on your stats, like when Zigzagoon uses Growl, so my attack would not be lowered for that one move, so that's kind of nice. But anyway, we got Torchic fully healed. It's level 6. Let's talk to me. Let's see, the Pokemon Final Route 103 include. I could do this if it was the next episode. Oh, hi, Emil. I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. Give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. And we get this awesome rival battle music. I love this song. Favorite rival battle song in the entire series. Well, unfortunately, we won't get to hear most of it, though, because this battle is going to be really short, though. So, May's starter Pokemon is a Mudkip. And yes, like I said, I liked them before they were cool. Don't judge. Okay, so... This is the tutorial trainer battle. What's different about a trainer battle is you cannot run away from them. 
Because apparently you just would look like too much of a wimp in front of a cute girl. I don't know. I really don't know the reason for it, but you can't run away. So, in this battle, all you really do is just mash your attack. There's nothing more complicated than that. It's typically how it works in these tutorial rival battles. There's just not much gameplay to them, though. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to explain my starter Pokemon because we never really got into Mudkip. Mudkip is a water type. Water types are generally really bulky. Mudkip's ability is the same as Torchic, just water moves. Typical starter Pokemon fair now. So Mudkip's stats, it's really slow out of all these Pokemon that you can choose to start with. It's really offense-based, but it also lives up to the bulk that water Pokemon are typically known for. Hopefully this battle will be over pretty quick, though. Because this battle really just does not exist. Did I seriously just lose that? Okay! Um, I'll be right back. I'm back! Alright. Apparently giving me a taste of being a trainer means giving me a taste of defeat. God, I can't believe I actually lost that. Jeez. Okay. Let's try to take down this Mudkip that is a lower level than us once more. Come on, I just want to mash my attack button a bit. There really isn't any gameplay to this, though. It's just kind of the same stuff. All right, Mudkip is down. There we go. Best battle ever. We gained 69 experience points. How fitting with all the May fanboys out there. <laughs> I had to. Anyway, we're going to level 7. I should say that levels, all your stats increase a little bit. Plus, you have the chance of learning a new move like that. Focus energy. That makes it so we have a higher chance of getting a critical hit, like I spoke of earlier. All right. And that does it. Wow, that's great, Emil. You're pretty good. I know even though it took me two tries to beat you. Uh, that's a great sign for this LP if it's really, really going to take me two tries to beat the first battle. Ah, uh, well, let's see here. It's time to head back to the lab. Okay. On the way back, though, I want to talk about the one Pokemon that I didn't pick and made it pick. Trico. Now, I know what you're probably lo thinking looking at that. Oh my god, Chugga, what's wrong with you? Bulbasaur's number one, not Trico. Well... I'm about to rock your world, because this game introduced a new numbering system that's game-specific. Yeah! I just rocked your socks. Anyway. Trico is a grass-type Pokemon. Typically, grass-types are slow and are more about hindering your opponents with various status inflictions. Not so with this one, though. Even though Trico does have those status-inflicting moves, it's also really quick, and in time actually becomes the fastest grass-type Pokemon in the entire game. So really unique, really useful, not like any other grass type you'll find. So Trico is definitely a good pick if you wanted to have a grass type though, but you don't like the fact that grass types are really slow. But anyway, we are back here in Little Root Town and we are back at the lab again and I'm not even walking, it's just automatically doing. Oh hi Emil, I heard you beat man your first try. Oh god, when the in-game text is covering for you, you know you suck. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. She has one Pokemon and it's level five and... Okay, May has an extensive history as a trainer. She has one Pokemon that's level five and you're giving this high-tech tool for your research to some random 10-year-old that you've known for literal minutes. Any Pokemon to catch my kid? May goes ever with it. Whenever my kid catches her Pokemon, she hasn't caught any Pokemon. She has one and she got it from you. May likes how I'm doing field work and shows me. Oh, wow, Emily, you got a Pokedex, too. That's great, just like me. I got something for you, too. And we got Pokeballs. And she was, like, completely oblivious to the fact that we just got that in front of her. It's fun. Maybe you know, catch a Pokemon. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. I'll go find any cute Pokemon. I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Okay. So, I think that just about does it for now. Because, well, we've gotten our first Pokemon. We, well, oh, we're about to get interrupted by our mother when I was just about to do a... Now oh, true. Emil, Emil, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're father's child, all right. Looks, you look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, we're going on an adventure. Wear these running shoes. Put a zip in your step. And now we have the ability to run with the B button, a very welcome feature in the Pokemon series that I really wish they added earlier. But yeah. So, we got our first Pokemon. We've been given an objective by Professor Birch to go out and research the Pokemon in the Hoenn region for him. You know, collect data for him so that he can do research. And we now have the ability to run. So I think we're going to end this video here. So next time on Pokemon Emerald, we are going to be heading out to the north, back to Old Ale Town, and hopefully going further into the region, okay? See you guys then. And I like how this house belongs to me and not my mother, even though I'm 10 years old.